Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David Milan. I'm an HR professional from Australia. So I've been using Notion for close to a year now and I think it's great. In this video, I'll be covering the first three databases that I think you should build. It's a projects database, a master task database, and a weekly agenda. Importantly, I'm going to show you how to make connections and, and build relations across all of those three databases. And I'm going to be building a lot of this in real time. Uh, I will speed sections up and you can slow it down if you'd like to see how I do it as well. I've included timestamps in the description and they're also on the screen now as well. So feel free to jump ahead to a section that you are more interested in or just watch the video and see how things progress. So Notion has a, a small learning curve and I'm hoping this video will help anyone who's just getting started. I'll be including links in the description to all of the templates that I'll, I'll be showing. And so you can duplicate them to your Notion and then change them as you need. It's sometimes difficult to come up with a unique idea, a unique concept. And so essentially we are copying and borrowing and, and creating based on what we've seen of other people's work. But I do like to give credit where credit is due. So I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, Marie Poulin and her YouTube channel. I've learned a lot from her content and what she's put out. And some of the things I'll be showing in this video are based on what I've learned from her videos. The first database that you should build is a projects database and that's what I'll be showing now. So first thing to do is to create a page and I'll call this a projects page. I'll make it empty with icon and I will click on full width. I do like to change the icons around. Lately I've been getting some great icons from, from Notion VIP so I'll include a link in the description to their site. So I'll go up here and up, click on upload an image based on one that I downloaded earlier and so I'll just change that icon there and then what I'll do now is I'll create an inline table and I'll call it projects and this is the projects database. It's up to you what uh, properties you would like to include. I like to include type and I include whether the project is personal or professional and that gives me visibility over how many projects I have on the go. Another field that would probably be useful is due date so you can click on date there. I live in Australia and so uh, we generally structure our dates as day, month, year and so I'll just change that here as well. Another handy property to include, one that I use, is called status. So I'll make that a select property, the different options, in progress, completed, not started. I'll show later how you can use it to, to give you an idea of projects that are coming up and obviously projects that you've finished. If you are working as a consultant and you're working for different clients and different companies, it will probably be useful to have a way of recording that in Notion. So I would include client and company and so you can click on the select option there and then enter those into that property, into that field. So that's it, that's a pretty basic table. I like to keep things pretty simple. It's a simple database or a simple system that I'm more inclined to use it. That's what I encourage everyone to do, to start in a simple way and then as you build confidence using the tool, uh, build some complexity into it and, uh, and progress from there. So I will show you how to uh, build a template. I really recommend the use of templates. It can significantly speed things up and, and help you to be more consistent. So I'll call this one project template. And in here, I just put a few headings of, of things that I like to think about when I'm starting a new project. I, I won't cover task manager now. I'll show that uh, later on in the video and how we can use that to pull through from the master task database. So when you start a new project, so for example, if I came in here and I recorded spring into it, 2020 marathon, that's a personal project and I click on project template, it will bring up the headings that I uh, recorded in that template. So I mentioned earlier that one of the, the key fields that I like to use is uh, personal and professional. I like to use toggle lists. So if I click on toggle list here and I'll call this one personal and then another one called professional. And what I'll do is I will drop this, this database into professional here and then I'll set up a view. I like to use board view for my, for my project. So I'll call this uh, professional board view and I'll click on board then create and then up here I will click on the filter and I will add a filter so that it only brings up any uh, projects that are tagged according to the professional uh, tag so if I click here and obviously there's there's only one uh, which doesn't have a title which I can add shortly so if I click here on uh, type and then professional it'll bring up that project there. So I'll just jump in here and give that a name um, so that it is easier to follow. And so now you can see uh, that uh, view within that toggle there 
is only bringing up uh, any professional projects. I like to bring it up according to status. So if I come up here to that ellipsis and I click on group by and then change it to status, it will now show the professional projects that I have according to the status. And you can change the status by just clicking and dragging. Same thing here in personal. What I'll do though is I will bring up a link database and I'll create, I'll search for that database that I just created, projects. And so now it will bring up that database, but I will change this view to be personal and I'll create a board view again. And then up here, I will click on filter and I will make it so that it only brings up any projects that are tagged to personal. And again, I'd prefer to see this as a status view. So I'll change group by to status. And so now whenever I come into my projects page, I can look and quickly see what projects I have on the go from a personal perspective and also from a professional perspective. So what I'll do now is I'll just quickly add some more projects. Okay, so I've added some projects now. There's only five in here, but you can now see the personal projects and the professional projects that you have on the go. Just a quick reminder, uh, a shortcut that I picked up from a Notioneer who uh, is another Notion user who puts together some great templates. I'll include a link in the description. If you select the toggle views, and then if you're on a Mac, you hit Command Return, it will close them. And if you wanted to open them again, just select and then Command Return. So that's the project database. What we'll do now is move into the master task database. Okay, so creating a master task database, I'm going to create a, a table full page. I'm gonna call this master task database. I'm gonna change the icon up here and I'll grab another one from uh, Notion VIP, so that lightning bolt. And then what I'm gonna do in here is uh, just add some different properties. It's completely up to you what properties you wanna put in your master task database. Again, I really find it useful to have that differentiation between uh, personal and professional uh, tasks. Another key field, which I'll show why later, is day. And so I'll click on select. Another helpful uh, property to include is date completed. Again, I will change the date format because uh, living in Australia, uh, as I mentioned, we go day, month, year. So I'll change that like that. I've been using Notion to uh, help me to get to inbox zero multiple days a week, multiple weeks in a row. So I'll look through the email and determine, is this something that I need to delegate? Is this uh, just information or is there a task? Is there action in there? And then I'll go into Notion and create a task using a template, which I'll show. What I like to do is to create a property in Notion where I can record who the email was from and when I received it. So if I archive the email and I'm working on the task and I need to go back and find it, it's really easy to find. And so what I do is I record in here, email sent by, I might make this a select property that I can put someone's name in there and then I'll record email received and I'll make this a date and I can go into the options. I like to include the time and then I can record day, month, year when I receive the email. And so that helps me to keep track of the tasks that I'm doing and where did the, uh, the original, um, I guess, inception of the task come from, which is generally from, from emails. Couple other fields that I find useful. I like to include one called complete. And I just make that a simple checkbox, which can be helpful for filtering later. Another one that would be helpful is company and client. So I'll include that one in there as a select option. So I'll show you a really quick template that I've put together. So I'll come up here to templates and I'll click on template, create a new one. And I'll call this task template. What I like to do is have a template uh, with just some really, uh, just two simple headings. And so what I'll do anytime I'm creating a task, I'll write down a description of what it is I'm intending on doing, and then I'll, I'll break it down into its component parts. And I find that's helpful to, to get, uh, get started. One other field that I, I neglected to mention that's really helpful is uh, to add projects to this. And you wanna do that as a relational database. I'll type in project and I'll make this a relational database what I'll do is I'll find that project database that I just created and I'll click on create a relation. I'll bring it over here. And so this task here, let's just say it was linked to a uh, personal project. So I can click on upstairs bathroom renovation 
And then what I'll do is I'll start working on that task and the task might be to buy tiles. And I'll click on my task template. You'll see that I'm intending on doing it on the Monday and uh, or I might change that to be doing it on the Saturday. I'll put in the task description. So I'll just put in some examples here. Okay, so that's an example of different component parts within this. And so you can keep it all in the one page and just work through it. Okay, so that's the master task database. I've just added some uh, other examples in there so that will help you to, uh, to get the hang of it and to understand it as we progress. Now let's have a quick look at the weekly agenda uh, and I'll show you how to draw connections and make connections between all three. The first thing I would do is create a full page table and I would come in here, I'd give it an icon first of all. In here, what I like to do is put in the date. It's Friday the 28th of August now, so I'll create an agenda, a weekly agenda for the week that's coming. So 31 August to 6 uh, September, and I'll put that in the name there. And so what I'll show you now is the template that I like to use. I'll go into here to templates, new template, open as a page and again I will make it full width and add an icon as well uh, so that every time that you create the template it brings up an icon. I'm going to call this weekly agenda and in here I'm going to pull through a linked database and I'm going to bring up that master task database and I'll show you why the day property is particularly useful. So in here I will create a board view and I'm going to call it weekly uh, view and I'll call it board and I'll click on create. Uh, whatever is the uh, uppermost uh, um, selection is the one that will be remembered. So I'm going to bring this and make that weekly view. And you'll see it's brought up the different tasks according to personal and professional. I want to change that. And so I'm going to make it uh, group by uh, day. And you'll see now it has brought up all the different days of the week and what day I'm doing certain tasks. And so I find this is a really helpful way to plan what tasks you're going to do and to get a, a bit of a bird's eye view across your week. And it's pulling from that task database. Another thing I like to add is a really simple habit tracker. So I'll just create an inline table here, call it habit tracker. And I like to change this to be day and then put in the day of the week. I like to change these to be uh, check boxes. I recently started uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu again. And so what I like to do is in my weekly agenda, I'll just record how many days I went to training and so I can keep it front of mind throughout the course of the week. I will change these and uncheck these because this is the template. And so whatever you select in here, if you were to replicate it later, it would show up again. You might also like to record how much uh, water you're drinking a day. Three liters is probably a bit extra for most people, but I do a, a reasonable amount of exercise. So I try to hit three liters of water a day. Um, so I might put three liters water. And then another thing you could track, for example, is uh, healthy eating, if that's uh, something that you wanted to uh, keep front of mind. So every time you're opening your weekly agenda, that habit tracker is there and you can just click things and see how many times you could do it throughout the week. So that's the weekly agenda. I'll show you how it works uh, on, a, on a weekly basis. So if I go back to the overall agenda here, and if I open this one up and I click on weekly agenda, it will now bring up that, uh, that template that I just created. What would be uh, really useful is to start to build in some relations to other databases. So what I can do here is click on project or type in project and bring up a relational database to that project database that we created. Click on projects, create relation. And now if I wanted to, I can click on here and it will bring up all the projects that I'm doing and I can go, okay, this week my focus is going to be, uh, you know, that product launch and also I'm going to be working on the Spring Into It 2020 Marathon. So I can think about the different things that I'm trying to, trying to tackle. In terms of uh, the weekly view down here, uh, as you build more tasks into your database, uh, it's important to tag them and, and relate them to the weekly agenda that you're working on. So I'll show you how to do that. If I was to go in here and create a tasks relation and click here, 
and find that tasks database, that master task database, then click on create. At the moment, the, uh, the database is showing all of the tasks, but I like to add a filter. So I click on related to weekly agenda and I'll bring up 31 August. And you'll see now what will happen is all of these uh, tasks will disappear because I haven't tagged any of them according to the week. It can be a little bit confusing, but once you get the hang of it, this is a really powerful way to keep track of your, of your tasks. So I'll click on this, they'll all disappear. But then if I open this now and I say, okay, this week, I really need to work on that tiles project. And you'll see now that shows up there. And I can also look at my tasks and I can go, actually, I do need to take, uh, put some effort into that meeting logistics timetable. I'll click on that and it will show up there, but I do need to do it on the Monday instead. And so just say this is my weekly agenda for the 31st of August to the 6th of September. I go through my week and I fill it all out, all the different things that I'm trying to do. And just say uh, it gets to the end of the week and I haven't been able to finish that task on the Saturday. I can open it up. I can uh, click here related to weekly agenda and create a new template. So 7 September to 13 September and say create a new page. And what I'll do is I will delete the 31 August to 6 of September there. And I'll delete that. And now if I open this new agenda, which is the week after, and I go in here and uh, click on weekly agenda and I can bring up that date range. So 7 September to 13 September. And then here I will add a filter. So it only brings up any tasks that I'm doing in that week. So click on add a filter. I'll make it weekly agenda and contains uh, 7 September to 13 September. And just so you'll see now you've pushed that task into the next week. This again, it can be a little bit complicated, but and I've tried to explain this is in as simple a way as I can. I, I remember when I was first learning this, I had to watch the videos a few times, but now it's, it's really quick and really easy to do. And uh, I'm sure that will happen for you as well. So that has been uh, the uh, weekly agenda database, uh, which I've shown you, I guess, how to pull in different relations from your task database and also your, your projects database as well. I really hope that this has been useful for you. Again, I will emphasize it can be a little bit complicated at first, but uh, do stick at it because it's a, it's a fantastic tool once you get the hang of it. So I'll include a link in the description to some of the other videos that I've, I've put together that might be helpful uh, covering how I do things in Notion. Thanks again for taking the time to watch and I will see you in the next video.